up in the drip when I splash, yeah. Ain't got time to chat, yeah. I'm running to the back. Hold up, can't chat. Run it up, run it up. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, back at it again with another reaction video today. We're going to get into Metallica, Seek and Destroy, Live, Quebec, Magnetic. So, have I heard of Metallica before? Yes, Metallica is a huge band from the 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s, somewhere around there. Uh, obviously it's before my time, but it's one of those iconic bands that everybody's heard of. It's Metallica, it's freaking huge. I could not name a single song other than... Sandman um, Other than that, I don't know. I probably heard a lot of Metallica growing up But like I said, I couldn't name a song and I'm like that with 95% of all the big bands Before the 2000s like the 70s 80s 90s all the big bands you name them Guns N' Roses um, Led Zeppelin whatever I couldn't name a single song probably but I'm sure I've heard some so we're going to jump into Seek and Destroy uh, live at Quebec. This was 2013, so this is, I guess, kind of newer. It's one of their more recent tours. I don't know if they're still touring or what, but we're going to jump into it. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button with this notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Then up here, I have all my social media that are most active on. Yes, I make music, Spotify, Pandora, Google Play, Apple Music, wherever you listen to music. I'm there. Search your boy up. Links for all that in the description down below, as well as I will put a card right here. For my latest song that I just put out last week, you should go check it out. It's fire. Now, with all that being said, I hope you're having a great day. Come by with your boy. <laughs> a little mask action. I see a beauty for it. Happy Halloween, by the way. Oh, okay. I was going to say, is that something they always do, or it's Halloween, so that's cool. Wow. You look better. <laughs> nice teeth. All right. Oh, they all have masks. Are nice. you ready for one more? No. It's time to go home. Thank you, good night. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh, that hurts. Okay, Quebec deserves one more song. That's some showmanship right there, man. Just kind of engaging with the crowd, having fun, getting them riled up. So Pros. if we play this, we're gonna make a deal, all right? We play one more song. You give us the rest of your energy, all right? Is that a deal? It's a fair deal. You're making a deal with the man looking like this? Are you crazy? Yes, you are. Can we please turn on the house lights? I want to see Quebec. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, it's the Metallica family. He's getting everybody high, dude. I'm getting hype. I'm not even there. We have a deal. You need to sing three words extremely loud, okay? It's simple. Three simple words. Seek and destroy. What a way to start a song, dude. <laughs> Yo, they got turned up. The crowd fell out of sync there. <laughs>
They have such a signature uh, guitar sound. Spread out on that stage. What did you say to hit me with it. Take and destroy. That's my friend Lars. A little solo. Still spinning. Was he playing the whole time?
Oh. Metallica loves Quebec. Nice. Okay. So I guess that was the last song of the night. Um, all right, man. So what I think about that, that something about the 80s, 70s, 90s bands, there's just an organic feel to it. Like that song, the way it was structured, how it was played, it almost seemed like a jam session, right? Like it wasn't 100% stuck in a structure it wasn't like this commercial radio sound and it had to be a certain way and there's nothing wrong with that but it just had a feel to it that just seemed natural and like they're just jamming out as friends in a garage you know obviously they're on a stage but that's just the feel that it had it had this home grown kind of feel to it i really like that um you don't you don't get a whole lot of that these days and it's a nice, refreshing kind of sound. Now, the guitar definitely sounded familiar. Um, at certain parts, I was like, have I heard this song? But I realized it's the guitar, the way it's played, the tone, the way it's tuned. Like, It's just that signature Metallica sound. Um, and I guess that it reminded me of Sandman or whatever. Like, It just has that sound, right? The song itself... I mean, I didn't really care for it too much. It, there wasn't anything about it that like pulled me in and I was vibing with crazy. I did enjoy the drum solo and I did enjoy the guitar solo. Um, I like the showmanship though. I really enjoyed and found myself kind of vibing out to the way that the stage was set up and how there's like a band member on almost any side. So no matter where you're at in that arena, you're kind of getting... A personalized experience because you got a bandmate like in front of you. I really like the way they set up the stage, and I really like the the way that he interacted with the crowd and the way they were interacting with everybody. They're kicking the balls and it's like they're pointing at people and stuff. They really make you feel like you're part of the show, which is um, huge in terms of showmanship. Because if you go to this show and you know they point at you and you're like oh like it's just going to add to the experience and i really like how they did that and the the way he engaged with the crowd and was like i need i'm going to make a deal with you i need all your energy it's the last song and it's like just setting up that last song for success in terms of how everybody's going to vibe that is just years of experience and like the top level of uh showmanship and just being at that level like of experience is what you're getting right there. That is just top professional um, service, really. I mean, that that's what you're paying for to go see. Um, and, t and also, you know, if you're a huge fan of the music and stuff, but th it's just you're not going to get that type of experience with a newer band or like your favorite artist, most likely, unless they've been doing it for a long time and they're really experienced. Like, you could tell the difference there. So I like that. I like the show. Um, and the fact that they've been in it for so long, and this was from 2013, and you know they're still killing it. And I'm sure, I don't know if they're still touring or if they're gonna do a last tour here soon. But like, it's just really cool to see a band or an artist in general just do this for so long and still have such good success to where they could just go up and do a tour out of nowhere. You know, it's really cool to see that uh, longevity. But that was a cool little vibe. The the song itself, like I said, didn't really care for it. Um, Sandman, I like better. Uh, I, I'd like to hear more Metallica songs and like to get into more 80s and 90s bands and stuff because I know there's a ton of great music there. Uh, but I really just enjoyed the the show on this one, really, more than anything. So that'll do it for today's reaction video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below. It helps the channel grow, helps the YouTube algorithm, all that fun stuff. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that sub button. If you're not new here, welcome back. I appreciate the love and support as always. Thank you very much for showing up and showing love. You guys know what to do. Leave some comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought about this song. Let me know what you think about Metallica. What do you think about the show? I personally, even if they played songs just like this that I didn't care for, I would still go to a show because it just looks like so much fun. It just the way that they're interacting with the crowd and the, you know the balls and everything. It just looks like fun. I, at that point, I could care less what's being played. It's just the vibes, and you know there's good energy there. So. Let me know how you feel about that. As well as if you've never heard Metallica or you haven't heard much of them or you're not familiar with them like I am, 
Let me know what you thought about this. Um, and if you do enjoy them, go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow them on social media. Listen to them. Stream their music on any platform. They don't really need your support. They've been doing it, and they're already cemented in the Hall of Fame and all that. But can't hurt to go support them, right? Support always is a good thing to do, um, and I always recommend it. But anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm sending positive vibes your way, and until next time, I am out. Let's get this bag. I tower over these rappers just like the Eiffel. I'm probably in the scope of inner scope, not talking rifles. My competition's depressing, I really got no rivals. They only start dissing me when they feeling suicidal. Someone check the vitals. I'm going places with my brothers like Wayne's. This my martial matters flow. It be going through changes. I've been growing and changing.